We've done this week. i um, been very pleased with the players. Uh, their honesty has been invaluable to us as a staff to get the, the start point, if you like, and the base to work from. Um, I must mention a few of them felt they'd let down the last uh, manager and staff, so I admired that honesty. Um, so we built on the back of that and said, well, we can correct that, but we've got to do it together. And I was pleased with that side of the game today. You know, quality-wise, we can build that, but there had to be a base to work from, that to be a feel of a group and a commitment to the cause, and I thought there was plenty of that today. You know these players well. How do they respond to setbacks? You haven't had many in recent times. I don't know, by the way, I respond is to tell them that I love them more than before the game and before last week and last month because they deserve it, because it's easy to be next to him when, when they are winning and smiling and performing. Now we have to be next to them when, when they have a defeat and they tried really hard to, to get a different outcome and could they, it was impossible. I know he focuses on the group, he doesn't deal with individuals so much, but have you been telling your teammates about what you can expect from the way that he'll manage the club? Yeah, obviously, the lads know, I know him quite well, so they ask what he's like. And I feel him as much as I can, um, but they'll soon learn what he's like. Straightforward, honest, wants us to work hard, and be, but also be respectful around the place, and that's exactly what we'll be like. Um, but then also go out there and perform for, for this club, because it's important, and the fans responded today, which is great. Yeah, obviously they made it a very difficult game, very physical, aggressive second balls, and obviously I think honestly for us just wasn't wasn't good enough, you know, and at our best today. And obviously when you come against a side like this, if you're not at your best, you're gonna obviously unfortunately get the wrong result. But look, you have to look at the season as a whole. It's never gonna be smooth sailing, so we just gotta bounce back, review it, and improve. Yes, yeah, what a start for, for Sean Dyche. Uh, first goal for Tarkovsky and a huge three points for Everton. How, in did they get the better of Arsenal? Um, well, they, they did play well. Mikel did give them credit. Um, he did mention that um, Arsenal would have to... They'd have to play well to control the game, to earn the right to play, and I think that Everton didn't give them that today. Um, you know, they were... You're thinking that they're going to be a team. Yes, they're going to have a little bit more about them. But this is Martin Erdegaard, arguably, arguably for me, one of the players of the season so far. Didn't have hardly any time. Arsenal's still trying to play how they play because that's what's got them where they are at the moment. But you can look at Everton. Every single one of them is right in their faces. All day this was happening. It was something that was going to be... If Arsenal were going to get anything, it's going to have to be... They're going to have to play very, very well. Anana, again, who was in and around... He was in and around Martin Erdegaard for the whole game, literally, and he was... I can't understand how, um, how yeah. Calvert-Lewin doesn't get that. Again, you look at Ghana, yeah, just reading it, reading it, and then here he comes in, and then they win it again. They were, they were just so... I thought they were going to run out of energy at some stage, but this is an honour again, getting in front of Martin Erdegaard, and then once he comes here, he's got a little bit of skill, bang, bang, and then he's off. You know, he could have maybe got that again, but, like, they started to get confident now with what they were doing, and then... You know, by the time it finished there, this is him just running it out of, down to the other end of the pitch, you know, and then, you know, you know, this is where, once it goes out of play, you just see him, like, getting the whole, getting the whole stand going with his rally cry, you know, he's, he's going for it. They were, they, were, they were up for it, they were ready for it, and I don't know with what we've done there today, because our, our team would have to play well to beat Arsenal at the moment, and they did. Yeah, that's a, that's a telling graphic, isn't it, that they've run more today. And that often happens, doesn't it, when a new manager comes in. We, mm -hmm. we, we see that for a little while. But it wasn't just about um, the running aspect of the game, was it, Alan? No, there were several good things about the performance, but this was one of them. In the first 20 minutes, I thought Everton sort of struggled a little bit, because he had a Wobey left and uh, McNeil... Uh, right hand side um, and then they were far too far away from Calvert-Lewin up front when the balls were going up to him there that's the distance there's no point in winning this header because those two particularly I understand that they've got to do their bit in midfield and help protect and feel their way into the game but when that was happening there was no point because they, were, there was, they, were, they weren't running in behind similar thing again the ball goes up to there even if he can hold it he's, they're miles away from him but after about 20 minutes, an Arsenal player goes down injured and there's Sean Dyche and his staff. They just say to McNeil, you come to the left-hand side, Awobi, you go over to the other side and get closer to Calvert-Lewin. And that's exactly what happened. A ball up to him there and all of a sudden, yes, they're both closer to him, but more importantly, he wins it and then Awobi's onto it and they're into the, the final third and causing problems. Similar thing. On the right-hand side, the first one, this is on the left-hand side, long ball up. There he is, McNeil again, and then all of a sudden, get on that left foot and whip it in, and Decore, it should be in the back of the net. And a big problem for, for Everton this season has been scoring goals. There's only Wolves scored fewer goals than, uh, than them. So, but they were getting into position, similar thing, he wins the ball, another fantastic ball in, 
And again, that should be in the uh, in, in the back of the net. Second half, something similar. The ball goes up, but he, at, at least then they find a Wobi who's in that position to put the ball into the box. Not a great ball in, but at least they're getting bodies in there and they're creating chances and they're asking different questions of that Arsenal back four, which they haven't done enough this season. What a start. It was a brilliant yeah. performance from him and his players. Fantastic start. And Ian, can I say I'm full of admiration for you for sticking with your Arsenal socks despite that <laughs> defeat. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. You're welcome. But what an unbelievable result. That was Everton's first win since October the 22nd. And I don't think anybody quite saw that one coming, Jermaine. I did, to be honest. Did just... you? Did you predict it? It's, just, it's crazy, isn't it? When new manager comes in, all of a sudden, new manager bounce. players work it's a little bit harder. Him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, players work a little bit harder. But I think it's a case of competing because sometimes, you know, everyone works hard. The manager says you work hard, you run around. But I think there's a difference, you know, the difference between working hard and actually competing, you know. Going back to bases, winning tackles, blocks, headers, you know, just winning, the, you know, individual battles and stuff like that. So, I mean, the overall performance was, was, was brilliant. Something that these Everton fans have been waiting for. But, you know, to beat the. the, the to beat Arsenal, and especially the way they've been playing as well, Arsenal. Um, I mean, it's what a, what a result. And that man there, Tarkovsky, made in Burnley, but scored his first Everton goal. Big moment for him. Massive moment. Like Jermaine said, they just competed, simplified the game, um, and Goodison was absolutely rocking. And if you think about their relegation battle that they were in last season, their home form and the fans were the reason why they stayed up. And Sean Dyche has got to get that going again, and you saw that today, and get that feel-good factor about the, the place, and it definitely happened. But getting back to basics, running, I heard they did the bleep test in the week, and that's, again, mentality, running, putting a shift in, the hard yards are the words that he keeps using. So um, expect more from, from the players in Everton from Sean Dyche. Your face when Karen mentioned the bleep test, is that something that you did not enjoy? I used to hate it. My back, <laughs> my back used to go when I was doing that. Yeah, that was, yeah, that, that yeah. was good one. But, like, no, again, again it's a like sometimes... it has to be done, right? Yeah, it's a case of going back to... Bait. Apparently, there's no hat and gloves and snoo, all that sort of stuff. So he's come in and, 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 and sometimes, as a manager, you have to do that. You have to do that. And, and to, be, to be fair to the, to the players, they performed today. They did, and they uh, scored from a corner, but they threatened from a corner before the goal. The warning signs were there. Well, you heard Eddie and Ketty there talk about physicality um, and put the ball in the area, and they win first balls, second balls, and use that physical prowess. And they've got good deliveries. Um, you see a Wobi there putting the ball in. To be fair, the deliveries, and from um, McNeil, they're floaty balls, so it means that they can run and get something on it, and with that physicality. And, they must have highlighted something as well, because for the goal, Tark Tarkovsky ran the back post. He goes on Erdegaard, a player that you go, oh, I don't want to be marking Tarkovsky in, in a 1v1 when there's a floaty ball coming in, because there's only one winner, and we saw who won it. So they must have highlighted something. He's your free man, put the ball in, put a bit of float on it. And to be fair, look, Saka's on him there. The, yeah. the players, you, you don't want to be marking big players on set pieces. When you attack the ball like that, with so much aggression, and I, I, you, every corner we've seen there, they've got first contact and eventually one's going to go in. So next up for them is the Merseyside derby and you get the feeling that it's a good time for them to be playing Liverpool with the momentum that they've now picked up from this game. Yeah, and you know, it's one of them where you go into training and everyone's buzzing. And that's the, the crazy thing about football, it can just turn like yeah. that. And now they're going into a Merseyside derby thinking we could, we could get something here, we can get a result. and. and you know, it's level again because it is a derby and we've got three points and a good performance, which is what Sean Dyche wanted, the performance, and then the result came. How might this affect Arsenal? Because I don't think we've seen a worse performance from them this season. Am I right in saying that? It's their first defeat in 14 as well. Yeah, and, and, and you know, credit where credit's due, they've been, they've been unbelievable. You know, you look at Arsenal and you look at a team, you, see, you can see that they're well-drilled, well-coached. Um, everyone understands what they've got to do, you know, in and out of possession. But I think today was difficult because obviously we, we spoke about Evan competing and that sort of intensity, you know, the fans. Um, so it was, it was difficult for them to get into their parting pa patterns. Um, but I think they'll be OK, to be honest. Obviously, it's, it's never easy when you've got Man, Man City so close um, with, their sort of, with their sort of form and, and obviously we know what they can do in that. But I think the manager would want a reaction from this performance. I think that's it now, like Jermaine said there, like, how do you react from this? And, and these are the, the, the fixtures they've got next. Brentford and then obviously Man City, that kind of head-to-head -head that everyone's been looking forward to. But it's how do you respond now against Brentford because this has been a blip and I think everyone throughout this whole campaign is saying it will happen at some point to Arsenal. But how do they, what's their mentality? How do they respond? Um, 
you know, you have to be resilient in these moments. So this is a this is a big test for them and, yeah. and the physicality and party coming off and, and, and just things like that. Like, how will they respond? That's that's the characters now of, of champions, how they respond when there's a bit of a resilient moment.